love his, uh, his, just his focus. You know, when he sets his mind to something, to something you can see he's, he's gonna achieve it. You just, you knew he was a good guy. You know, he just seemed to be pretty genuine and, and really excited about Florida Southern. And that's when he just felt comfortable to move forward and, and try to sign him as quickly as we could. As he nears the end of his freshman season, Benny Yusufoglu has already cemented himself as one of the best goalkeepers in the history of Florida Southern's men's soccer program. Benny grew up in the small German town of Dinslagen in North Rhine-Westphalia, a town of just 70,000, but a town rich in soccer spirit and surrounded by German soccer giants like Bayer Leverkusen, FC Schalke, and Borussia Dortmund. For Yusufoglu, like many others before him, his success story had humble beginnings. And in the beginning, it was pretty funny. Like, my father always, and my mother, they always tell, tell, tell me stories about what I have, have I done in the first years. And it was like pretty funny because I was just sitting around as a goalkeeper, sitting during the game, collecting flowers from my mother. Um, but I think I really started loving this game when I was eight or nine years old. I've always enjoyed playing this game, and I would not play it anymore if I would not enjoy it, and it gave me the keys to many, many opportunities. Benny played most of his youth career for MSV Duisburg, a club in the second division of German soccer, just 20 minutes from his hometown. Benny's countless number of impressive performances caught the eye of many college coaches in the United States, but the opportunity to play in the U.S. was almost a forgotten dream. June 27, 2014, Benny and his friends were working at a high school graduation party when disaster struck. Benny fell from a second story balcony, landing directly on his left side and suffering significant damage to his hip and arm. Surgery would take over three hours as the doctors scrambled to do everything they could to salvage Benny's left hand. After surgery, doctors would tell Benny the unimaginable. The hips, um, they will be okay, they, they will be fine. It's just like a hairline fracture that will be okay. Um, but the hand will definitely be a problem because you have to imagine like everything was was just broken, was fractured, the muscles were, were done and my hand was not really connected to my arm anymore. I was just alone and was just like thinking about what I'm going to do with my life now um, because they just told me that I won't be able to play soccer in my life anymore. But Benny's passion for the game of soccer was far too strong for him to give up hope and he refused to let his dreams slip away. And in my mind, I just set up um, a setting that I want to play soccer again and I will do anything, uh, everything to do so. In the coming weeks, Benny rehabbed at the local sports clinic. However, not stepping foot onto the field was nothing short of gut-wrenching. The first few weeks, like two or three, I was in the wheelchair because I was not able to sit. I was not able to stand, I was just allowed to sit. And my hand was broken, so in the wheelchair I was not able to move on my own. So I didn't have the opportunity to, to do anything, and that was really, really hard. And when I think about not being on the field, it was like horrible. But I just like fought for that goal to get back on the field again. And that was like, this motivation just, just was like, kept me going through this, through the pain. I mean, it was painful in the beginning. It was really hard to, to get that physical stuff done, but it was more like mental setting. Benny would continue the rehab process for an entire year. And at the conclusion of that year, Benny would do the impossible, put the gloves on and play soccer once again. The last training session, and that was the first time the physios taped my hand and I went back into the goal, which was an incredible feeling to walk uh, from the locker room on the field and standing on the field again, putting my cleats on, putting my gloves on and play. Um, that moment being first time on the field again and being competitive again was incredible after that whole year. When you think about that, they just told me that I will never play soccer again. In his first game back from injury, Benny would play the role of hero for his team. With the score tied at zero, Benny would have to save a penalty kick to keep the score level. And he did just that. Later that season, Benny would play the role of hero once again in the state final against Rottweiss Essen, making a save in the penalty shootout that would seal the title for Duisburg. In 
his time with Duisburg, Vinny would win two state championships, five Best Goalkeeper awards, and six All-Star State selections. However, after Duisburg's second team was dissolved, Benny was without a club and now turned his attention to playing soccer in America. Upon arriving at Florida Southern, Benny struck head coach Jason Carlson not only as an amazing player between the sticks, but also as a great fun-loving kid. You could tell, you know, he's had good coaching. His athleticism showed he wasn't your 6'3", 6'4", goalkeeper, but we thought he really covered uh, the, the space well. He's uh, very routine, um, very technically oriented. He wants to get things right with his hands, his elbows, you know, where's his weight distributed. And, and he does that uh, well in training, has a good work ethic. And then in games, you know, you really see his quickness off the line, his ability to make himself big and, and you know, sacrifice his whole body to try to make a save like any goalkeeper would do. And then off the field, um, man, he's, bit of a chatty guy so he's he's your typical goalkeeper uh, he's a little goofy but uh, in a great way I mean I think all the guys on the team really like him and uh, get along with him well. In his freshman season Benny has the opportunity to be only the third goalkeeper in team history to post a goals against average less than one. His current average of .92 ranks him third all-time for a single season average. The team's 1.18 goals against average is the lowest in team history since 2001. Despite his achievements Benny is more focused on his team. As a goal, you have a huge impact of a team if you're good, and an even bigger impact if you're bad. Um, and that's the thing. I don't really care about statistics uh, when I'm on the field. It's just like being part of the team and always want to get the W. Um, and that's what it's basically about. This is what the spirit is about. So I don't, I don't really mind if I'm. This is one of the most historical seasons of all time. It's. I'm happy that we have a good season as a team. I really enjoyed that, like being a part of it and having an impact on the team. With three years still to play in Lakeland, the ceiling could not be higher for Benny. Yeah, I think sky's the limit for that. That guy, he just his work ethic just is going to carry him a long way wherever he goes.